You feel me? This is what I mean when I say, Muffin, not, like, you know, Muffin's been asking me that, like, damn, you ain't, you don't be worried about your ops, and I be like, sure, this not my ops, and I'm worried about, gang. It's all the motherfuckers that want to be, that are trying to fit in. And I don't want this to sound stupid either, because I'm pretty sure the answer no, but I'm going to ask you anyway, though. Ain't nobody making sure you safe, though, and, like, you ain't said nothing like that, but it's like, like, they forcing you to get on this thing. No, no police sure shit. Like, I don't talk to shorty, like, I, I was off of that shit. I was offered to be put in weird seconds, some extra shit, but it's like, nigga, I know what I did, nigga. I stood on what I stood on on Tuka Great, nigga. I recounted all my shit to make sure shorty them came on. Right. Now, we, that, yeah, we see it in the transcript. You clearly did that. Re now, what his bitch, what, I, what they girlfriends and they friends and, the, and they people them did have nothing to do with me because y'all can't forget that it was their friends, their girlfriends, and their phones, and the people that they was connected to, cars and all that shit. Those are the motherfuckers who told on them. Those are the motherfuckers who, who, who testified and had full testimony, the truth and nothing but the truth, right? But ain't nobody talking about that shit. God damn it. The little nigga, uh, Los, his girlfriend got up there and told everything. And then the second day, when it was time for all the rest of the judges to, to cross, I mean, uh, the lawyers to cross examine her, right? Mm -hmm. Then she got to recant her shit. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Right. But let's start where you already came in and told everything. Right. Your first testimony was, yes, he, yes, Los had my car. Yes, he had him, him, and him in the car when they came and picked me up from work. Like, she got up there and pointed out, oh, y'all. There's a lot of shit going on. Y'all all homies from Lil Dave. There's more people. They just, the motherfuckers not even speaking on them game because, you know why? I had a bigger face. I got the bigger name. So, of course, a motherfucker gonna constantly bring up my name. 30 million blogs about you. Like, all kind of stuff. Mickey Truth that created a motherfucking career off me. On Tuga. In real life, the lady didn't create a career off, off based off a lie. The lady said I tried to get her put out the courtroom. The lady said I threatened her. Like, you got Fendi Boy signed back to jail because folks did the interview. Oh. Like, uh, we can really go break break this shit down. Hold on, wait a minute. We you reached back. out to WAC 100 and told WAC 100 to tell me to leave you alone. But on Tuka, you playing with me all on these platforms on folks' grade. Like, we just be real, lady. You, you, you 50 plus game. You got a double neck. Leave it alone. On Tuka, then you got your daughter involved. Baby. Stay on, stay on college campus on Jaja because a Kiki and Kiara number just to beat the fuck out you. Chill. I want to idea, like, enjoy your college campus life, gang. Because I'm my brother. When you hit that, it's a throw. You stupid little girl. You around the wrong people. You got to, like, your mama wrapping you up into some shit. I could have been slimy, but like, hey, beat that bitch. I'll drag this little hoe. Drag her, right? But then what the fuck I get out of that, truth? Oh, some real shit. What am I getting out of that? Oh, some real shit. But her mama, though. Her mama, you 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 stepping into a whole other lane, baby. I understand you trying to create, you trying to get this this internet money. You seeing what's going on, right? But it's a level to this shit because you have to understand. Once you cross a certain line with certain people, people forget that you're fifty years old. People forget that you're a woman. Now you become a a target. Now. Every time you get caught or you in public, you feel like somebody finna do something to you because, baby, you you overstepping your shit. You know what I'm saying? How you 50 plus out here acting like you 19? You all on Clubhouse. You got my, you on two. You have my name in your mouth more than the motherfuckers I'm into it with. You sit for on my deal, homie. I sat on I sat on Clubhouse and listened to this lady for three hours talk about me, gang. I say, damn, nobody else. Cause butter. And what about when Butter said, and Butter, I say, damn, what you want to suck my dick? What's wrong? What you, 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 you shot your shot at me or something in the past on took, I shot your old ass down. Like, baby, what's your obsession with me? Because you was just fuck Muwap, R.I.P. Duck. Now it's free Muwap and all this extra crazy shit. All right, baby, listen. Ain't nobody telling you to pick no side, be a blogger, be a woman. It's, it's ways about doing this shit. On Tuki, the shit you doing, you think, oh, yeah, it's true. I'm kind baby. I take this shit seriously. Don't you see every time motherfuckers play with me, I catch a motherfucker, I make motherfuckers apologize, or I'm normally smacking the fuck out of people off the, like, this off-camera shit. 
people don't even hear about the off-camera shit no more. Oh, folks, great. Like, that's why J-Man had to tell Young, like, folks, you don't, you wouldn't say that to Butter. And Young, though, he wouldn't say half of the shit he was saying about me to me. That's why he didn't want to sit down with me, right? So I've been just like, okay, Mickey True, lady. You got it. Why are we speaking on Mickey True? What's your relationship with Trenches News? Do you guys know where? I don't even know who Trenches News is. Oh, Swiper. Swiper. Man, I don't know. I have zero connections with that man. And I ain't saying it in no bad way. I just got zero connections with that man. I took he up. He hood hop. He did some foul shit. Oh, folks, great. And I ain't really got shit to say bad about him. It's just like, ain't no real connection, gang. Okay? Oh, for real? Like, but for us, like, damn, baby, why you, why you playing? Like, you going, you went to as far as you went and got a shirt with my picture on that bitch that said FBI Butter. Like, do you not know I'm too grave? I have some money, gang. I would have somebody to drag you out your career for $5,000, gang. On Duck Gray. On Big Cloud, I'll have a motherfucker drag you out your career for 5K. Is that what you want? You want me to make an example out of you? It'd be crazy, right? Now go get that to the DEA, bitch. You said he's sending all these police threats. Yeah, he say something else about me and threaten me. I'm going to send him to jail. Well, send me to jail, bitch. And we're going to see how that work out. Bitch, I'm bonding out. I ain't broke. I don't took it in. This is not, this is not, this is a not life threatening situation. You know what? Right? It's verbal. You know what? We're going to switch that topic, though, because I don't want no legal trouble. Don't oh, too, because she said every time I turn around, I get on the ass. She, yeah, he say something else, I'm going to tell the police. But you can have my name in your mouth 24-7. Am I saying I won't call the police on you? I'm that you build your career off my name. On oh, too, when I can really become sending these copy strikes to your page, fucking your algorithm up. Yeah. Yeah. That little pay, pay you think you get, I can really. I got 26 YouTube accounts, gang. I can sit back all day and just strike, strike, flag, 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 all day. Nah, I feel you on that. We're going to jump off. All right, come on. We're going to go to somebody we got, else. We got eight more minutes. I got eight more minutes. All right, eight, come on, man. We're um, going to go to somebody else, man. I love her, too. I think that's what it is. She want to say she love me and don't know how to. Did you feel any type of way with Billionaire Black and Jay Hood sitting there talking? Or did you look at that like that was the right thing? I mean, I'm too. Jay Hood ain't nobody to really be like, you know? He from Oakland. Man, but he ain't not one of those, though. So it's a level. I mean, it ain't like you sit down and take a poll with somebody. Folks, great, you know? Start that. I ain't saying like Jay Hood. Like, nah, he wasn't really out there, though. I mean, he was out there for the fighting days, gang. For the fight days, he was there. You know, when shit started getting real and motherfuckers started getting killed and shit like that, folks are ass is selling corn. And, but he always, he, he admit that though. He point that shit out. You got to give him that. And he, he, he what he is, a, a pastor now? Or some shit like that? I think he do. He, he, he deacon? What he a deacon? Or a so pastor? He, he preach a lot. He, you know what I'm saying? That's dope. That's dope as shit. I ain't got no kizzy. And I don't want to sound like no hater, but like, yeah, okay. That was dope. And both him and Billy, they both was in AZ. You know what I'm saying? They both live in the AZ. So that was dope for them to get together and surely to still go make it home to his, his at the time. I think, he, I think that was his fiance. So they might be married by now. Last time I had looked in on him, okay. he was he had just uh proposed to his, his, his fiance. You know what I'm saying? I, shared, I even shared the post when he was asking motherfuckers to help him. Uh, f for the wedding and all that shit, he wanted to get a nice right. ring and all that shit. I shared that post. Right. Well, I shared it when you when you when you redid it. I shared it off your page. I ain't gonna lie, but I kind of like him and then I don't like him. You know, I like him and I don't like him. Yeah. One moment I like him, one moment he praying, he wishing death on me and shit. And